everywhere divine masculine divine feminine goes you stalk them and you watch them and if you can't stalk them or watch them yourself you pay somebody else to do it and if they can't stalk and watch divine feminine divine masculine themselves they pay somebody else to do it it's gotten old it's nothing new it's old when are you gonna stop gang stalking when are you gonna stop illegally surveillancing people when are you gonna stop stalking someone you're obsessed and it's creepy I'm seeing a Polaroid camera in my head. Somebody has literally been taking pictures of someone illegally. Somebody could have cameras around somebody's home or inside of somebody's home. I'm seeing somebody take pictures. This energy is so creepy. You hired a private investigator for what? I feel like somebody is mad in this energy. You're mad because somebody's blocked you, because somebody doesn't like you, or because somebody just doesn't want to fool with you because you're evil as fuck. Y'all hear that car? It's a car going real, real fast in my background. I'm laying in my bed, y'all. Y'all hear that car? You probably can't hear, but I can hear it sound like a sports car. That's you, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. You've gone too far. You've gotten too far. And you're not looking back. Whoever this person is or these people are, because I feel like it's groups and groups of people. You know, I feel like it's one person. Damn, y'all hear that car getting louder? Y'all hear that? Yeah. Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, y'all are on to bigger and better things. And it ain't no stopping you now. You on the move. That's definitely an omen. Whoever these people are, whoever these groups and groups of people are, they can't stop you. They're desperate for a win. <laughs> Bitch, because this is a man or a woman, but I feel like it's a woman, though. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just channeling. Bitch, because I'm calling you a bitch because you're evil. Every time you get any inf information on divine masculine, divine feminine, you take it and you run with it. If divine masculine, divine feminine go to the store, you take it and run with it and try to create a, a scenario or you tr try to create a plan to ruin, ruin and sabotage that person or set that person up. If divine masculine, divine feminine buy a brand new pair of shoes or buy a new car or buy a new home it's like every fucking thing that they do any little information that you get you try to take it and run with it for what any little thing to set them up look what you've done you've sent fake lovers in their life you've sent hit man you've sent hit woman collective i'm going through this shit myself but it just it just don't make sense the energy that I'm picking up on you guys cuz I know I'm not the only one that be going through this shit I know I'm not the only one that be experiencing this shit but this is what's going on in the collective I'm speaking to the collective as a as a whole if you being gang stalked it's over I'm going to cut the co the comments off on this channel I mean on this particular video excuse me I'm literally seeing you take pictures with a Polaroid camera, whatever the fuck. I don't know what type of camera this is, but this camera ain't a regular camera. It's like an old school camera. Who are you? Who the fuck are you, people? This is definitely some type of a cult. Look, man, somebody has been on a milk carton. Somebody was on a milk carton. Somebody was on a billboard. Somebody could have been on an episode of Unsolved Mysteries. Somebody has been missing since they were a child. Somebody was kidnapped out of a hospital. 
Hell, this could even be my damn self. I don't fucking know, but I'm saying this shit on camera because this is the energy that I'm picking up on. This could even be somebody in my collective that's watching me. You were kidnapped. This bitch ain't your mama. This man ain't your father. And your family ain't your fucking family. I'm tired of picking up on this energy. This is the fucking Truman Show. And it's done. And it's over. Spirit said, let it go. Go to the next download. This is this this is just gonna be a quick video. So, man, this is crazy, man. Um, side note, I'm pray for uh for Krishan and Blueface, man. Krishan and Blueface is under heavy attack right now. The you know, I don't know why I'm picking up on them. But I'm picking up on them. I know y'all probably don't care about celebrities. But, you know, Krishan is under heavy spell work and black magic. Blueface mama is a fucking witch. She's doing spell work over Krishan. She's doing spell work over her fucking son. They trying to get both of them to sell their soul. They both don't want to. They both just, I don't know why I'm picking up on Krishan and Blueface. They both just want to be in love and be happy. I don't fucking know. They, I don't know, but I'm here and pray for Krishan and Blueface. God protect them. Help them figure out the way, especially Krishan. Blueface as well. I don't, I don't know. Something is happening to them too, but I'm going to leave that alone. I know a lot of people don't care about celebrities. Hell, I don't really either, but I'm picking up on them. Again, I'm going to leave the comments off for this video because this is not a regular tarot message. This is a black message, blackout message. I'm seeing the PI that you hired. <laughs> you hired a PI? You hired a private investigators to, to take pictures of someone? There's several. There's up to three or four people, seven to eight men, seven to eight women. That's all involved in this shit. There's informants. There's undercover agents. It's like some of these people are legit and then the rest of these motherfuckers is just crooked as fuck. I'm hearing all the federal agents are are legit, maybe except one. No, I'm hearing all of them are legit. It's some undercover cops. I really don't know what's going on, man. It's too much going on. But somebody going to get a knock at the door and they're going to have to go into hiding. Remember I told y'all that um, the most high God to get rid of you before the... Uh, Excuse me, the most I got to get rid of the chosen one before you do. Y'all, I literally got chills up my spine and in the inside. Something really big is about to happen. A major fucking bust. Damn, did y'all hear that? That's confirmation, y'all. Did y'all hear that bust? I keep getting omens. And there, there go that sports car passing by again. I'm drinking a soda, y'all. Y'all know how when you drink a, a bottled soda and when you put it down because you've been squeezing it because you've been drinking it and then when it sit down for a while, the air pops out and it pops the bottle. That's what just happened. It's going to be a major fucking bust. Somebody may have to go into hiding in, in some type of witness protection. Somebody refuses to let go. Somebody wants you dead. They're ready to cash in the insurance policy and they can't figure out why you're not dead yet. So any fucking piece of information that you get, bitch, you take it and run with it to try to set divine masculine, divine feminine up. Not just you, all of you. You're all doing this for fucking money. And then you got the audacity to be mad because somebody doesn't want to fool with you. Somebody doesn't want to fucking talk to you. Somebody don't fucking like you. Somebody has a right to fucking block you, bitch. You're evil, ho. Don't nobody want to fucking deal with you, but I got to stop talking about this download because it's making me sick to my stomach. Oh, you're going to do day for day. Like I said, in the feds, all of you, if God want me to say something else, I'll get back to it. But I got another download. So here go the other download. Listen, it's a divine masculine, fine ass divine masculine, sexy than a motherfucker. Got a lot of money, too. This man faked his death. Now, Spirit told me to keep it real short and simple when it comes to this. This man could have been shot multiple times. One in the neck. I'm hearing this man was shot in the neck. This man was shot in the stomach. And it's rumored that this man was shot in the head. But I don't believe that this man was shot in the head. He could have been shot in the head. I'm hearing this man was shot up to four or five times, maybe ten times at the most. 
When this man made it in the ambulance, the ambulance, the 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 med, what do you call those people? The ambulance workers, the um the shit. I don't even I forgot what the hell you call them people. Um the ER, not the emergency room. Y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. The people that pick you up in the ambulance. When this man got wheeled into the ambulance, they asked this man, who shot you? Who shot you? <laughs> I'm going to call you Carl. That's what I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you Carl off the movie Ghost. Y'all ever seen the movie Ghost with uh Patrick Swayze and Whoopi Goldberg? And Whoopi Goldberg was a fucking psychic. And uh, <laughs> Patrick Swayze homeboy, Carl, set him up. He was a fucking snake, right? Well, Carl, remember I said I was going to call you Carl. This divine masculine said your name, bitch. You've been under investigation the whole time. You even made a deal with a federal agent. These federal agents don't like you. They're not working with you. They don't believe you. You're just a pawn. You're just a piece to the puzzle. That's all you are. You're just a, a pawn and a piece to the puzzle to get everybody else in trouble that you worked with. You're working with the feds, the same people that's going to arrest your ass. You're working with the feds. <laughs> But they not working with you, though. You throwing everybody under the bus except yourself. And you think the feds are slow, dumb, stupid, and retarded. But deep down inside, you know. But, uh, yeah, this is Divine Mask. When he said your name, it's going to be a major tower for you. I could almost cry for this man. I'm sorry, Divine Masculine. Remember when Tupac got shot five times and he survived it? I can't think of that particular song in my head, but it's one song. Divine Masculine is immortal. He can't be killed. His physical body can't be killed. I'm talking about all divine masculines, but I am talking out of uh, talking about a particular divine masculine. He can't be killed in physical health or even in the afterlife. Because see, when you're immortal, you you you, you can't be killed, whether you dead or whether you alive. I'm having to get quiet for a minute because I have to be careful with what I say. But yeah, Carl, he said your name, Carl. The EMTs, my bad. That's what it called. That's what they're called, right? The EMTs. The EMTs asked this person. So remember when Tupac got killed in Las Vegas, right? Well, he didn't get killed. He got shot multiple times. Remember? They tried to kill him the first time and he survived. At Quad Studios, remember? I'm saying this for a reason because there is a divine masculine that's going to resonate with this. Somebody could be paralyzed from the waist down. Somebody could be a gunshot wound victim. Somebody is in hiding. Somebody is in some type of witness protection. But I'm using Tupac's story as an example because that's what I'm seeing in my third eye. So remember when Tupac got shot five times, he, he survived at Quad Studios, right? They set him up. We're not going to really get into who set him up, but I'm hearing something about Suge Knight and Death Row Records could be very significant. Somebody could definitely be a rapper or a musician in this energy. I'm hearing Death Row Records. Okay. Can I say that spirit? I got to be careful with what I say. Somebody is very well known. Somebody is very popular. And when this person is rediscovered, I'll put it like that, they will be even bigger than what they are now. This person's name is not mentioned that much because the in, the, the industry I'm hearing is protecting this person. This person is up, is up under some type of witness protection. They could even be underground. 
This person may actually be dead, but then again, this person may actually be alive because this person is immortal. Does that make sense? If it's not making sense to you, it's just not. If this person is alive, this person could be paralyzed from the waist down. If this person is not alive, shit, they're using me like Whoopi Goldberg in fucking Ghost to solve their murder case. I'm hearing murder was the case that they gave me. Somebody, yeah, I feel like somebody was... I don't know. Somebody tried to sacrifice somebody because they didn't want to sell their soul because they were worth more dead than alive. Not because how much money somebody accumulated, not because how much some how much wealth somebody accumulated. Simply because that, too. But because I mean, something about an insurance policy as well. I'll leave it at that. I won't go into detail, even though I'm hearing something else. But this person was mainly killed for their birthright, their bloodline. They, they come from a, a royal bloodline. This is a man. I'm hearing something about vanilla ice. I'm hearing ice, ice, baby. I'm not talking about vanilla ice, but vanilla ice could be significant. Suge Knight could be significant. But anyways, let me get back to the point. So, they couldn't kill Pac. He was like a fucking cat. Remember, like he had nine lives. So when he got shot in Las Vegas, everybody thought he was going to survive. Right. But he didn't. So they say, hell, we don't know. Pac could be in hiding. All right. But I don't think I'm talking about him. I'm talking about this divine masculine. So. How can I put this? Mm, so remember, Pac. The EMT, if you go back and watch old videos, they interviewed those EMTs that tried to save Pac. And um, one of the EMTs said when they when they asked Pac, he was laying on the ground in front of the Mercedes Benz. Or was it a BMW? Remember, they shot his they shot the tires. And remember, Suge Knight, he got shot in the head. He got grazed in the head. Remember? And so one of the EMTs, y'all can go look up this interview. I'm going somewhere with this. One of the EMTs that was interviewed, they asked him, they said, okay, when you was trying to resuscitate Pac, when you was trying to bring him back to life, um, you know, he said, well, he was coughing up blood and stuff. And, and the EMT, he said, well, who shot you? Who shot you? Pac. He said he was calling him Pac, not Pac. Pac, Pac, who shot you? Well, I think, I think he said he didn't even know. He didn't even know who he was. He didn't even know who he was doing, re trying to resuscitate. I think that's the word. He didn't know it was Tupac Shakur at first. Um, but he said he seen he had a big medallion on uh, that, symbolized the, that symbolized the death angel. He had a big medallion on. I'm hearing something about Michael Valley. Yeah, he had a big medallion on and, and, you know, he was coughing up blood and he was like, who shot you? Who shot you? Who, who, who did this? Who shot you? And the EMT said that he said, fuck you. He threw up his middle finger and said, fuck you. OK, obviously, Pac could have felt that them bitches was in on it. He was paranoid. OK, so you probably like KMP. Where are you going with this? Whoever this divine masculine is, and I have to laugh because I've been laughing when I've been getting these downloads, boy, because I'm not laughing because I'm laughing at divine masculine, divine feminine. I'm laughing at you bitches because you bitches, is, you're going to jail. This man, man, it was many murder plots against this man's life. So many people involved. But why, though? It wasn't just about the money that this man created. Y'all were mad and jealous. Same thing for divine feminine. Same thing for divine masculine. All of the divine masculine's divine feminines. You put them in poverty. You try to cause them to be homeless. And some of divine masculine, divine feminines have been homeless before, have been in poverty, have been without. When they've been rich and wealthy the whole time, when they have ties to the Vatican, ties to what we're going to call new world order. But see, when they rise out of that shit, it's like a rose in the concrete. I believe Pac had a, had a poem called Rose in the Concrete. I don't know why I'm picking up on Tupac, man. I swear to God, I'm not just doing this because saying this because I'm a Tupac fan. I love Tupac and all of that shit. I'm a he's not the only he's not the only rapper that I love or I'm not obsessed. I've been picking up on Tupac Shakur for two years now. 
seriously. But I feel like I've been picking up on Tupac because I'm just picking up on him. And also, there is a divine masculine that's going to resonate with this. Somebody is literally like Tupac Shakur, man. They can't be killed, whether they're dead or alive. They're immortal. They always reincarnate. But yeah, it's like a rose that grew from the concrete. Divine masculine, divine feminine. That's who you are. I'm talking to the whole collective of divine masculine, divine feminines. It's like even though people try to keep you down, keep you stuck. Even though people try to keep you from watering your grass. Even when people left you behind and thought the grass was greener on the other side, you still grew. You still evolved. You still changed. You still growed. And not only did you grow, I mean, you didn't grow any weeds. And it's sad. It's like every time you did try to grow some reeds, weeds, you couldn't even grow no weeds. And it, somebody could be smoking weed or somebody could be doing, I'm hearing something about hemp oil or something like that. But in Snoop Dogg could be very significant, man. I'm hearing something about death row records. But anyways, you couldn't even grow no damn weeds. You couldn't even grow no damn grass. Every time you tried to grow something, they, they snatched it away. They pulled it out. You know how they pull weeds out? Every time you tried to grow a plant, every time you tried to grow anything in your garden, they, 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 they fucked it up. They, they ruined it. They sabotaged it. You've been resurrected. You a rose that grew from the concrete. You, st st you still rise. Still I rise. Maya, Maya Angelou. Maya Angelou, excuse me. You still rise. A rose that grew from a concrete and you beautiful and you shining. It's like you walking down the street and you see a fucking rose in the concrete. And you're like, damn, that's a rose in a concrete? Where the hell did a rose grow right here? How did you make it through out of how did you make it through all of that and still be standing? Divine masculine, divine feminine, you beautiful. Divine masculine said your name, bitch. You going to jail, Carl. I'm going to call you Carl. <laughs> You're going to get life without the possibility of parole. And you're going to get the death penalty. And everybody else that was involved is going to get life without the possibility of parole. May not get the death penalty. Some of you, whoever pulled the trigger is going to get the death penalty. You're going to get the death penalty because you you were, you plotted the whole thing. You plotted someone's demise. Somebody's mother is going to pass away as well. I'm picking up on two mothers that are connected in the spirit. They're going to pass away. I got to go. Divine masculine, keep your head up. I love you. Peace.